Hello folks, welcome back again, and uh, today we're going to do some menu tweaking. I thought we'd be uh, decorating the menus at this point, but then I remember there's a few things we need to do to tweak the basics for it, just to make sure, uh, just to smash some bugs before they pop up. So first thing I want to do is I want to open my menu, inventory screen, equipment screen basically all the menus that we made and skill tree because on this button we want to go to its event and at the very end we want to set we want to drag out our player reference and set menu open and set that to false because the menu is no longer open. And what we can do is just copy that. You can, con if you select more than you mean to, you can control click things and it'll highlight or deselect things. So I'm going to copy that, control C to copy it, go to my inventory. Oh, I'm going to compile real quick. Go to my inventory screen, the graph at the very end, just paste it in. Since they're all the same, they already have the player ref set up. So all I got to do is paste it in. Compile, crafting screen, graph, control V to paste it in. Compile, craft skill tree. Had I thought about it at the time, probably something I should have set up when we set up the base one, but quick fix. So one more thing we need to do is I need to find my player, right click, open edit player VP and I want to just remove all of this because otherwise later on it can have a double spawn issue to where you open the menu click and uh, click the different menus and if you hit M again on the keyboard it can open up it again so we don't want that to happen so I'm gonna save all that real quick and now what I want to do is in the main menu I want to hit my first button scroll all the way down and do an on clicked event back to the designer next button same deal on clicked event designer this one on clicked designer yes on clicked so now that we've got all four, I want to, on the very first one, which was inventory, I want to drag off and create a widget. The class will be our inventory screen, and the owning player will be the player controller. Then we want to add to viewport. and remove from parent and leave that set to self so that it just takes this widget off screen to make room for this one. So compile that real quick and you can copy all this with control C, control V to paste. The second button is the crafting screen, crafting screen. So just change that to crafting Control-V for the third one, which was equipment, I believe. So I'll just change that to equipment. Drag it up a little bit because I have a touch of the OCD. Oh, just like you can control-click icons, you can also hold control and drag. And it'll also box select other stuff and add to it or deselect. So handy little tip. Um, Control-V one more time. And this one was the skill tree. So I'll compile that real quick. And now I want to select all of them. Control C. The buttons too because the handy thing about having duplicated all the buttons is they're all the same. So I got one, two, three, one, seven, seven. One, two, three, one, seven, seven. So that's handy. So I can just go in here and boom. 
then since this is the inventory screen, I want to find the one for inventory screen. And move that out a little bit. Move that out a little bit. And drag out my player reference. Get menu screen. And instead of creating it, since it will already exist, because we've already opened the menu one time, then I want to just basically add it to viewport. Uh, just for bug smashing purposes, you want to right click, type is valid. Just as a precaution. So if it is valid, then you do it. If not, then I guess it does nothing, but it should be, so it should be all good. All right, and now we want to, let's see, the next one's going to be the crafting screen, so we can forget this button. Mm, actually, let's just do it the same way each time. So control V. This one's the equipment screen, so I'll go down to the equipment screen, back this up a little bit, take that one out, drag out my player reference, drag out, type in menu screen, just as the fail safe is valid, connect that to the execute, and if is valid, then add to viewport. Compile, forgot to compile that one, did compile that one, so crafting screen is next. Control V to paste, oops, Control V to paste all the buttons. Find the crafting screen one, delete that, drag out the player reference, get menu screen, back that thing up a little bit, is valid to the executable and if it is then boom add to viewport and one more for the skill tree so control V to paste them all take that out drag out the player ref get get menu screen is valid And just like the last time, if it is valid, then you add that back to the screen. Now we'll save all that real quick and test it. So M to open our keyboard, pushing M again does nothing now because we want that to be based on the buttons so that it'll avoid duplicates. There we go. So now we'll be able to open each different menu screen. You can tell because the button changes. And then when we click it back, it goes back to the one it's supposed to. So that's nifty. The next few will be going over the decorative style of each menu. And I wanted to show something to y'all. So there's this software called Krita, or Krita, Krita. I have no idea how to say it, but it's super cool. And it's super powerful and it's super free. So just an example, see all I had to do was go to Google, type in Krita, and it takes you straight to it. And it's a pre, well, free professional grade open source painting program made by artists that want to see affordable art tools for everyone. So shout out to those artists, KDE, y'all's cool. And look, it's super powerful, look. So it comes really in handy. I basically just use it for buttons because I'm not very artistic. Oh, I used I got the same one twice. Uh, but it's really cool. So if you're artistically inclined, this is a really awesome software for you know, just. I guess that was done in Krita. Maybe updated in Krita. I don't know. I don't know. It's super powerful, but it's also super cool. So. Just a little heads up in case you're looking for some way to beautify your things. But in the next few, we'll be going over more 
decorative style to make it look less plain. What was that? Okay. So, yeah. Look forward to that, and the next one will be updating this one. So, thanks for stopping by.